Welcome cuties, let's create. Good afternoon everybody, and I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. So today I'm going to be doing my Thanksgiving outfit and I, I'm a little disappointed because I really struggled with this one. So I was thinking of things, I was like, okay, I'll draw a leaf. I know that, you know, there's turkey, so I'll draw a little drumstick. And I just, oh, I really had a hard time coming up with an outfit that was themed around Thanksgiving. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll just go off of colors and I'll think of something as I go along. So I got together these colors. So let me hurry and get what colors I used if you have the, the same, um, the same set of Ohuhu markers. So I had Rose Beige BR3. I had, let's see, what is this one? Oh, the first one was a Rose Bavard? Bouvard? I don't know, R12. And then the, the one I just did, the brownish one, that's the Rose Beige. I did see this Sunflower one, but it just seemed too bright to me. So I ended up going with a, uh, a darker one so I went with I believe melon yellow R or uh, YR33 I liked a lighter yellow that I'll do here in just a second which is barium yellow oh my gosh I am I'm not good at reading apparently <laughs> um Y3 so this next one I'm opening them carefully because they're so juicy that when I open them sometimes, the ink like kind of flies everywhere. So that's what I'm doing. I believe this one is raw umber. So this is BR1. The next one will be potato brown. Oh no, this one's just orange, YR3. Um, I kind of wish that, I don't know, it's hard because it was so bright of an orange, but then the other ones almost look too pastel. I just, so I went with that one. This next one is Potato Brown, BR2. So I set off with those colors. <laughs> I was like, this, this will give me inspiration. And at first, I went to Pinterest and I was looking for a reference photo. And you can find, um, I have my Pinterest linked down below. So if you want to, oh, I forgot that I had a red because I figured might as well have a red. So this is Vermilion R2. Anyway back to the Pinterest. So my Pinterest is linked down below if you want to see, and it's under the board pose references. So if you wanna see, um, it's just the first one. So I kinda wanted a comfy looking pose. So I found this picture of this girl who's kind of just like sitting down. She's got her hand resting on her, her face and her arm is also resting on her knee. So I was like, okay. I'll rough it out. And what I've been doing lately of roughing out a sketch is I will do everything in circles and ovals. So I kind of ovaled out the first part of the arm, the top part, <clears throat> and then I did the bottom part and then did a square for the hand. And then I was like, okay, now I'm gonna do a oval for the thigh, an oval for the calf, and a triangle for the foot. Or triangle, it kind of looks like a trapezoid. <laughs> but, and then I kind of just fidgeted with the placement, because at first I was like, okay, I had this of kind of what it was gonna look like, but then it was like too far away and her, what is that, forearm would be like super, super long. So I was like, okay, the knee needs to be more straight. So I kind of played with that just so I could get a 
rough sketch. And then I go over to the other side and start doing the same thing, just so I have a basis of what it is. And the only thing, <laughs> so the only thing that I could really think of, because I'm like, I don't want to do sweater and I don't want to do pajamas. Because if you type in like on Google or on Pinterest, I'm a huge Pinterest person, is... You type in, you know, Thanksgiving outfit, and it's literally just sweaters. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to do a sweater. And so I didn't do a sweater, but because I wanted something, <clears throat> excuse me, that, I don't know, like, I was thinking of my Halloween one, and I really liked how that turned out because I used objects and items that remind me of Halloween and incorporated it into the outfit. And so I just was really struggling because I couldn't think of anything. And this hand doesn't turn out very good, but because <laughs> she has like a claw, almost looks like a claw. I should have added more fingers, but it's fine. This isn't this isn't my favorite because also it looked really good in the sketch and then when I went to outline it I apparently was like really shaky or something so the lines didn't turn out good but so um, it's kind of something I struggle with is keeping my lines straight and not get jaggedy and ugly looking <laughs> but you know it turns out fine she's cute we we learn we learn things so so yeah but I couldn't think of anything I was like I don't know how to like I don't want to just have a pattern of being like she's got turkeys on her pants like I, I didn't want to do that I felt like that was kind of a cop-out but now looking at my thing I guess I could have done that because this outfits kind of boring <laughs> I mean, I, I like the colors, and I think it is very cute. But, um, so yeah, once I had all the body figured out, I was like, okay, I can go in, and I know what to do. Another thing is, I feel like the feet turned out okay in the sketching portion, but then, again, when I went to outline, it didn't. Oh my gosh. Why can't my pictures just look perfect? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, I'm not used to drawing a lot of poses, so that's the thing is, I have decided to kind of branch out and try, try different poses to kind of get used to, you know, stretch my creative artistic abilities. <laughs> and I've been really trying recently... To, so there's this thing that artists get. It's called same face syndrome, <laughs> where you start drawing the same face and all your characters look the same. So recently I've been trying, you know, just in sketching on the side, I have been trying to draw different facial features, different, um, face shapes as well so she kind of has a more of a square face because her her jaw is more squared and I gave her a nice cute pudgy nose and I also kind of wanted thinner lips because I, I feel like I give my characters a lot of thick lips so that's kind of what I did so the line at the top of her head is I thought of giving I was like Hmm, something I could do is I could give her a leaf crown. So instead of a flower crown, I draw leaves and then I also decided to draw cranberries. So that's something that's from Thanksgiving is <laughs> give a like if you like cranberry sauce. So because I know some people they, they do they like cranberry sauce with their Thanksgiving dinner. Um, but yeah, so that was kind of the only really thing. And then, oh, it's only on one side, but 
you'll see here in a minute. For her sleeve, I was like, oh, what I can do is I can have like a lacy ruffle type thing on the end of her sleeve. So it could be like, you know, the crimped pie crust. But you only see it on one side because the other side is covered up by her forearm. So that's as far as I got. <laughs> you can judge me all you want, but I don't care. Or do I care? Who knows? But yeah, I want you to comment down below of what your holiday tradition is for Thanksgiving. I'm curious to know, like, do you go over to family? Do you guys do your own thing? Do you... I know a lot of people will play football on Thanksgiving. Do you guys go out of town? Please comment down below. I'm curious to see what other people's traditions are. Something that I told my husband and I want to, I kind of started for me, <laughs> I haven't gotten it for him, is I'm like, I want to do Christmas pajamas on Thanksgiving because I was telling him it doesn't make sense that we do Christmas pajamas on New Year's, or not New Year's, Christmas Eve because then I only have a couple weeks, you know, especially if they are like Christmas themed. I don't get to wear them all through December. So I go, what better way? Wear some Christmas pajamas or, you know, even if they're just regular pajamas. Wear them to Thanksgiving because you're eating a lot anyway and you want to be comfy. So, and then you get to wear them all through December. So that's a new tradition I want to start. Even though I haven't, I have gotten mine already. <laughs> they are very comfy. And, but I need to go get my husband's, so. We, we did look, but at one place. And they, they didn't really have a selection, so. We will attempt to find in the next week. I'll probably, yeah. Anyway, that's besides the point. So, yeah. I like how her crown turned out. I actually really like the leaves and I like the cranberries. I think that's like super cute. Um, yeah. So I didn't want to bore you with all the outlining and blah 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 and I was also outlining because I was like maybe I'll come up with something as <laughs> I'm outlining to spruce up this outfit. Um, but I ended up going in with color. I'm like okay I can color the skin. So this is my favorite skin tone and I don't know if I've said this before but it's Prismacolor and it's the color Cinnamon Toast. PB201. So I really like it because it's just a really good skin tone. And then I go in later with Oh Hoo Hoo Salmon Pink YR4, which is their light skin tone. And I actually use that to shade in the darker spots. So. And then I just kind of blend it out. And I think it looks really good. And something that you need to do when you blend uh, uh, alcohol markers is you have to like go over the spot that you just colored. So that way it blends in better. And so the only problem that I have is that sometimes it can actually, not that it's a bad thing, but it darkens the skin tone just a little bit. So yeah. I need to draw, I, give this video a like if you would like to see me start a new series of drawing different 
ethnicities. Did I say that right? I don't know. But that's one thing that I would like to learn is like how to draw different, you know, cultures of how to draw an Indian or how to draw um, someone who has Spanish background or, you know, someone who has Asian background. I would, you know, because everyone looks different. And so I would like to, I, that would be kind of nerve wracking to do a video because I have this like pressure in my head that it has to look nice <laughs> and that I have to do a good job and that I can't mess up. But maybe you guys like to see the struggle that I have to know that you're not the only one because sometimes you know you do you watch these these videos I watch a lot of art on YouTube and so sometimes when I'm watching them and they just come out so flawless and perfect and I'm like oh why can't I be like that <laughs> they never struggle um so anyway so the one thing is I was like, oh, maybe I'll put some like pumpkins and leaves around her. I didn't end up really filling the background. I gave like a light blue sky that doesn't even go all the way down, not even like halfway down. But yeah, I, it's fine. It's just one of those things that like you get started and you're like, yeah, this is going to be so cute. And then like halfway through you're like I'm not liking this and so then you like lose motivation to like make it look good and you just like kind of give up and it's just not good <laughs> so yeah so I was like okay I'm gonna think of something so I started shading so I started with let's see this is warm gray one so w g zero one for ohuhu markers and then I went over with different colors so this is how it turned out I, tur I used the rose beige and melon yellow and I do think it's cute and I hope all of you have a happy Thanksgiving Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, give the video a like or a comment, stay a while and watch a couple more episodes, and until next time, keep creating!